Okay, this is a brief run through of uh, some of the debugging tools that I use when I'm working on gratuitous tank battles. Um, this is quite a simple battle uh, with not a lot going on, so it doesn't get completely overwhelming. Uh, none of these tools are going to be in the final ship version of the game because they'll they'd slow it down too much. But I thought it might be interesting to look at them. Uh, let me just add some more guys. Okay, I've got a debug console that I can bring up like this, which makes things a lot easier and loads of different options. Uh, the top one is quite simple, it just tells me roughly what the AI is doing. Uh, this is a path debugging thing that will show me where everyone thinks they are and where they're going, uh, which is quite handy to check people aren't running into each other. Uh, this is, as you can see up here, is kind of like a little grid of debris in the game. There's a sort of memory allocator for debris. Not a lot going on at the moment, so it's not doing a lot, but it, it helps me see if I need more or less allocated to that. Um, the drift smoke stuff isn't really kicking in yet. Um, you can just see there some of the smoke has turned red, which means it's, it's being drawn in a different way. It's kind of above everything and that just highlights that to check it's working properly. Um, this stuff's kind of cool. This is the bounding boxes for some of the particle effects to make sure that I'm only drawing them when I really have to. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, this is kind of crazy. This is all the textures that are being used at the moment to draw a particular frame uh, which can get out of control quite quickly. Uh, Wireframe doesn't do what you think it would do because most of the game is being drawn somewhere else. Um, so you can't actually see individual polygons. We just add some more guys. Uh, this is fairly interesting, I guess. This is everything that's being done in a single frame of the game. So this is all the different textures, all the different render calls done in a particular frame, I can kind of filter it as well. Uh, sounds, these are all the sounds that are currently being triggered and how far they are through a particular sound. There's a lot of code to prevent there being too many sounds at once. And just add some more. And here we are with a completely different map, just to check things up a bit. Um, so after sounds we've got collision. Um, this is pretty much just for the infantry. You can you can see they've got like little collision stuff that stops them actually bumping into each other. There's repulsive forces if they get too close, and this is just a way for me to check that that actually works and that it's not too extreme um, and that it kind of works okay. Uh, we'll have a few more mechs. Never have enough mechs. Uh, collision uh, render targets. Um, it does a lot more if this was a nighttime map and there was uh, some proper light maps and stuff like that. But you can see actually if I select some stuff that they show up on one of the render targets that is used purely for selection. They don't then unselect because it's an optimization. Um, and this is all these icons that are drawn down here. They're actually really complicated, so I, I cache them in advance. Um, the grey one's kind of weird, it's for distortion effects when things blow up. Um, you can get something to blow up, you'll see what I mean. And this, this is kind of on its last legs, isn't it? If I freeze frame it, you'll see what I mean. Come on tank, die! Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's that's how the um, kind of distortion effect is done. I can go through it frame by frame, and you can see you can see how it kind of warps everything, and that's how that works. It's my little trick. Uh, what else do we have? Um, victory debug just <laughs> instantly wins. Have I got any flamethrowers? I have. I think he's in quite a bad way, isn't he? Um, there you go, that, that's just showing the effect of the flamethrower, so I know 
who's damaged. So that's a few missile mechs for the next thing. More of the guys as well. Not supporting mechs. Um, yeah, let me turn on the missile stuff. This kind of shows the route that missiles take. It uses splines in order to kind of... Oh, they're a little bit short at that point. Oh, there you go, you can see there. That that's how it calculates the route, so it kind of arcs all over the place. Uh, that's missiles. Collision grid is just to make sure people aren't walking into each other. Uh, uh, unit target stuff may be switched off. Not sure. Um, unit moves stuff is also possibly off. Um, this is showing me where the defending AI thinks it's important to build stuff. There's possibly some extra information there, but I can't remember the shortcut. <laughs> and this is a performance graph it's running in debug, so it's 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 running really slow. And we've got flaps running, which doesn't help. But uh, this will tell me if I've got any really obvious performance problems. If I put down a particular unit and you know that there's a huge slowdown, or if I zoom in on something and there's a huge slowdown, um, then I know I've got a problem there. In release mode, it's all under the white line, which is 60 frames a second, so that's that's good. And that's pretty much it. I'm not really paying attention to the battle, so I've kind of I've let it go a bit. But that's most of the debugging stuff that I use when I'm working on the game. It's all quite handy.